Hello, I'm Tenran432, and welcome back to my Mega Man Zero Three playthrough. Um, we are almost at the end. This is probably going to be the second to last episode here, and we have three bosses left of the main stages. And first one we're going to be doing is this sunken library, and we're going to try to find data about Omega, Wild, Elf Wars, Mother Elf, that stuff. So yeah, let's go do that. First, please go to the data room. That room has the highest probability of containing info. Alright, this stage, um, first half, uh, it's pretty simple. Just stay out of the water. Don't really have that much to say. So, I'm just gonna let you guys listen to this cool music here. Yeah, enjoy. Alright, so here we are, we're at the data room now. This is the data room, and then we can search up the info on the computer right there. So, uh, some people might say that I'm using that music stuff to uh, as an excuse for poor commentary, but uh, to that, I have to say, um, I just gotta say uh, no, because that's actually one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. Anyway, uh, to search up this information, um, they're behind certain doors, and it's randomized every time, so I'm just gonna cheat a little here, open up my notepad, and, uh, take a few notes. So yeah, in the beginning part of that stage, you just gotta stay out of the water when it, uh, goes up, when it, like, flows upward, because the electrical wire wires that you might have seen, uh, will electrocute the water, and that's not good, apparently. So, um, you're supposed to, like, jump onto the turtle's backs or something, but I'm not very good at doing that. It's not <laughs> my best part of the game. But, anyway, here we are. At the end of the wars, cyber elves used from this elf wars the us dark elf. And copies amplify the power while at will worst in the war end approximately 90% wiped zero it looks like that data is corrupt i think we might be able to repair it at the base thanks zero okay so anyway there are four data files in each of these rooms um but they are randomized to each room every time and that is why you have to go to the data room so you know which way to go um Anyway, this part is pretty annoying sometimes, and sometimes you forget one, and then you can't find it, but anyway, oh, another data file. The ultimate reploid, created by Dr. Weil, possesses incredible power, and it was banished to outer space to avoid another L4. Alright, analyze that data later. So let's keep going, going along. I want to change my ice chip. Uh, the the boss of the stage is actually an electric enemy. Anyway, at this point of the recording, I kind of lost it and forgot where all of the data files are. So I'm just gonna fast forward you guys a little bit. Uh, so yeah, you don't gotta deal with all that confusion. Alright, so here's the next data file. I believe it's the Dark Elf. Got the Dark Elf data. Alright. Officially known as the Mother Elf, cre the creator is unknown, and the Cyber Elf originally created for the purpose of restoring Maverick programs to their original state. But the Mother Elf was altered by Dr. Wilde so she could be used to manipulate Reploids by freely rewriting programs. 
Although the organized fighting with the Reploids manipulated by the Altered Mother Elf did end the wars, this terrible power was sealed off to prevent misuse. It was later unsealed by El Paizo. Darn El Paizo. Anyway, whatever. We can analyze that later. Maybe it'll be important. Continuing on. So here is the final data. It is Wile. Wile's data. From near Arcadia, creator of Omega, altered the Mother Elves, sparking the Elf Wars, banished from near Arcadia after the Elf Wars, and that's it. What is this? Who dares intrude upon my territory? This is zero. <laughs> so it's you. <laughs> Creepy dude. I am Fultil Biblio of Wild's numbers. What's you got there? Give that data back. Man, voice acting. There are only so many voices I can give. Anyway, this is an electric boss. Um, he's an eel. I don't know if you that. But anyway, he goes into these holes and he pokes his head out and it's really annoying. And, he's like, yeah. and then he shoots this electricity ball at you. But whatever, um, just charge shot those same attacks be down like nothing. You're opposing Lord Wyle, aren't you afraid of him? You you're crazy. mission we're gonna be doing going to this power factory that's shut down which is strange considering that the Arcadia is in a energy crisis right now but whatever let's go the facility's core has not yet been activated we'll need to activate the core and reestablish the facility operation something something i forgot to read it went too fast anyway we're back in this er, we're in the energy factory or something like that and um get down here you'll see it's dark and then i just zap that thing that stick over there and then that makes the moths fall fly up to the light um why the moths exist in the first place i don't know but like video game, right? Anyway, they fly up to the light and they're less annoying because they're <laughs> annoying creatures. But anyway, we've got those and then these climbing sections. HP up here. I forgot the data disc. You know, um, thought about it. I mean, I might 100% this game on my DS and then just show footage of that like later on the Zero Collection, because I do have that on my Nintendo DS Lite, and um, yeah, then I'll show you the mod cards, but anyway, we're not there yet, I gotta beat this game first, do some other stuff, live, anyway, um, right, what are we doing, oh yeah, we're into this level, and there are a few of these rooms you gotta go into, and then inside these rooms are these things, and you have to shoot them for some reason. I guess it's to turn on the core or something, but I don't know. Um, so, EX skills. I didn't really do that good. I don't think I've represented my abilities as a gamer uh, very well in this playthrough. Um, I'm gonna do a replay through later, probably. Get all the EX skills, at least an A rank. But whatever. Anyway, enough about that. EX skills. Um, this one is pretty useful. The Thousand Slash. It, um, basically kills those levers real fast. So we're back through here. More electricity stuff to shoot, I guess, and more moths to kill. Anyway, let's continue climbing. 
do. Alright, so next up there is a uh, boss fight, or a mini boss fight I guess I should say. And um, it switches its elements every few seconds, so I'm gonna be switching the elemental chip quite a bit. Or I guess it's the body chip now for zero to get the maximum damage output. So you see, it has two forms there, it just flips over, and it's um, ice and fire, and you gotta switch every now and then just to get the maximum damage. End it quickly. Hiccup. Anyway, there's if you have the EX skills, a lot of these fights will be much easier. I don't know why I didn't get them, but... Basically, there's one that's a fire uppercut, and it's pretty good because that ice thing only attacks up, and you can hit it from there. And then there's also the electric down slice thing. It goes down towards the ground, and it has an electrical effect. So it's really useful in these fights, but I don't have them, so, you yeah, know, sorry about that. I don't know if I already said this, but yeah, I'm gonna replay the whole thing. Hopefully in a single sitting or two. After, after, after I'm done with Zero Four, of course. Do a marathon, I don't know. Uh, just think about my future. Anyway, this part you gotta go on these little, um, metal things, and my strategy is just to do this, stand on the very edge and just keep shooting, the buster. And here we are, this little item up here, you do, you see much of this game would be easier had I gotten the EX skills, but whatever. Now in this room we have our second and final of those things where we have to hit the levers, or the buttons, or whatever. This, I have a strategy for this one as well. Uh, it used to be the jump slash thing there, but that, that takes too long. So I'm gonna just do this. Just keep slashing. There we go. Alright, that's it. So now we're on to the final part of the stage. Um, we got more of these moving platform things here. Up ahead. My prepositions, need to work on those. So for the last part of this level, um, let me go into this room, and uh, there are these, more of those conveyor things. I don't know why I keep calling them that. Those moving platforms. And I think you gotta switch the direction they go or something to climb up to the top. Right here. So yeah, just climb up there. I think I did it wrong. I don't know. Hold on. Oh wait, no, I did it right. I just jumped on the platform. Sorry, I'm eating M&M's. They're very uh, delicious and nutritious. Anyway, we're going up here. If you do it backwards, um, you won't be able to get to the top because the top platform will be going this way. But whatever, I got the secret chip. Now I gotta switch it back one last time. And climb up there. Ooh. There we go. Peanut M&Ms or something. I don't know if I did that right there. But anyway, we're continuing up. And... I believe we should make it this time. There we go. So here's the boss. This one's kinda probably the hardest boss in the game. No offense, Omega, but whatever. Here we are. What's this? What's this? What's this? Dee -hee -hee. Hey, you weren't supposed to see this place. Okay. This is a dark elf copy factory. We've got copies of the dark elf sleeping here. In other words. Baby elves. We had the factory sealed off so nobody could get suspicious. And I missed that last part. I am Cubit Foxtar, one of Wild's numbers, and I'll make sure you <laughs> never speak again. Also, that laugh was really creepy. I don't know if you heard it over my voice, but whatever. Uh, this boss is probably the hardest boss in the entire game. 
Um, no joke, it probably is. So they got this, this flame attack, so weird. Uh, that one that you just saw where the, her body got covered in like five flames and then they spin around. I have no idea how to dodge that one. But whatever, um, I just do my regular technique of charged, charged weakness shots and then just get rid of that health and bring your sub tank. And then that's it. Um, I don't really know how to beat that boss, but whatever. Let's keep going. So apparently this factory was uh, a baby elf factory, but apparently they don't need it anymore. After all. And we're back. Welcome back, Zero. It appears that Wild was trying to make baby elves with the factory. Sorry, that might have sounded weird. Uh, whatever, we got one more stage left, so let's go ahead and do that. Just there in the last mission, we got the, um, we got the double jump foot chip, which is probably the most useful foot chip ever. It allows you to completely destroy physics by jumping in the air. I meant to say mid-air, but whatever. Here we are, straight into the stage. Um, so basically there are these giant elevators here, and um, there's a giant Ur elevator that uh, we need to investigate. It's like, why do they have it? We don't know. Oh, we've got to play the level. I think we have to destroy these cameras. I think that'll raise our mission score, but I'm not sure about that. But better safe than sorry, I just don't know anyway die cameras. It's a... Uh, uh, I was about to make a weird pun. Never mind. Anyway, double jump foot chip allows you to double jump. Very useful for, really, uh, for reaching high places that you would not be able to get to otherwise. Like for that one up. Extra man, extra life, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, the stage, um, pretty good level overall. I mean, we got some good platforming sections. And then up ahead, we got some falling sections. Um, so yeah, uh, not too much to say about it yet. Um, you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the music for you, just so I'll let you hear it better. Uh, because I don't really have that much to talk about until we get to the next part. So yeah, be right back. Alright, so we have now reached the elevator and... Okay, we have now reached the elevator and, uh... <laughs> okay, so this part of the level, it's kind of gimmicky, but whatever. Um, it's still a good part. You're gonna want your recoil rod and these enemies are gonna start uh, chasing you and these enemies with the huge shields. You will want the recoil rod to whoop, knock them back. Recoil, or whatever. You can also just knock them off the ledge like that. But using the recoil rod is the probably best weapon for this scenario. And yeah, just keep that with you charged up and... Yeah, keep charging it. Not too much to say here. Uh, the enemies will keep coming and then a mini boss will come and then more enemies will come and then you got another part of the stage. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put back on that music now, after this mini-boss. That timing was something, huh? Anyway, uh, here's a cheap strategy to win instantly. Um, I told you how important EX skills are, but it's kinda sad that I don't have any of them. I just have this one and some other weird one for the buster. But anyway, just keep spamming this and everything will be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play the music again as I 
is previously said. And uh, yeah, here you go, guys. Alright, so I'm back. Um, let's continue with the level. Uh, we are, um, we got one more falling section like that before the elevator. And I think we're almost done. Excuse my heavy breathing. Alright, we got this part here, go down the ladder, and then some free fall. Except this part is a little different. Because there are insta kill spikes. And everybody loves insta kill spikes. Am I right, lads? Or am I? Anyway, whatever. Um, just be careful when you're falling down here. I'm not sure what happened to my emulator just there. Um, kind of froze up. Whatever, we're almost there. Just keep falling. Beware of the spikes below here. If you... Never mind, that, that's it. Anyway, we're at the boss now. So, go. So you're zero? You're so tiny, I almost stepped on ya! My name is Chatista something something. Your neck is so small I'm going to kill you, you're in... in... Ugh. Sorry, I can't do that voice very well. It's too deep. I'm going to choir soon. I can't... I really can't do that. Anyway, whatever. Um, this is boss fight. He's got these two dogs that are on his shoulders somehow. Which is kind of strange considering that he is kind of one of them as well. I don't know, I think it's just me. Anyway, here's that attack that you just saw where the dogs come off of your shoulder and then they kind of attack you. And he's got this attack as well where he summons purple stuff, the power of purple, to uh, kill you. He's also got this attack where he grabs something from the sky. I believe it'd be a lead pipe or a uh, that box that he just had there. And yeah. <laughs> Yes, I did just do that. It's literally only because he says Nani when he dies. But whatever, for the meme. Back at the resistance base, Transfer complete. Thank you, Zero. It looks like the elevator was used to carry a massive amount of E-crystals. But what was Wild doing with all that energy? Hmm, I wonder. And there. We've finished inputting the data. Now to begin analysis. Alright, so for now we'll save our data and... And uh, Seal will remind us that Harpuya is now recovered. So yeah. We'll go talk to him in the next episode, and maybe we'll finish it. So, uh, goodbye, internet. Let's not end this abruptly. Peace, and...